All right, I'm Pays 164. Now we're going to talk about graffiti symbols. Uh, some of the more simpler symbols, if you were going to be tagging your name, like so, maybe a crown to show you're the king of your block, followed by some stars. And as you can see, I'm just kind of rolling my hand around and twist it around. Real common designs in graffiti and tagging. Most of these symbols are just highlights around the lettering that you're putting on the wall. So again, when it comes to graffiti symbols and stuff, it's just about your own style and how you're gonna incorporate these dots, stars, crowns, abbreviations into your piece, into your tagging, and developing your own style. So working on a crown, you just wanna give yourself a little narrow oval. And as you do the tips of the crown, it's almost like you're doing an A, just rocking it top to bottom. Up and down, up and down, up and down. You can elaborate off that if you want. You get a little more clever with it. A star, same situation with the A, but you're rocking it back and forth to create your five points. You know, a little funky, usually pretty quick. You can even go as far as leaning it out to flare everything as you bring it around. And then to underline all your pieces, you know, just a good little twist. It's all about keeping it proportioned with your tag and being quick about it too. Sometimes you might find yourself with a lot of paint in your hands, bring gloves, remove them when needed. 